2022 was a year of rediscovery. After two long years of hardship, 2022 was the year we forged a return to a new normal and found all that had been absent. So many of us discovered our love and desire for the outdoors and the local natural environment. We rediscovered our city's critical role in pushing the boundaries of technology and exploration as we watched humanity push back into deep space. And perhaps most importantly, we rediscovered our sense of community and the significance of being together. In 2022, council and staff, alongside numerous partners and volunteers, completed several critical infrastructure projects, embarked on key surveying and grant initiatives, took major steps to reduce municipal environmental impacts, and hosted many community events. Early in the year, staff and dozens of volunteers helped to plant 18,000 sea oats beachside to enhance the city's precious dunes. We continued to make major improvements to the city's water reclamation facility and overall sanitary sewer system, so as to increase efficiency and protect our Indian River Lagoon with the installation of two new state-of-the-art disc filters, a drum filter, and a lightning protection system, and the reconstruction of the lift stations three and eight. We continued to build out a network of remote sensor sites with university partners to measure local weather, climate, and water level data to assist staff with emergency operations and future planning. We accepted the Presidential Streets Master Plan to systematically rebuild each presidential street to be more resilient to flooding and help improve pedestrian safety. We finalized the results of the Center Street Basin Study to better understand the needs of our stormwater system, and we continued to work with FDOT on the State Road A1A redevelopment project to move forward with our newly adopted Vision Zero goal. As always, our ever popular Friday Fests, Movie in the Park continued and brought smiles to all. As a city, we continued our partnership with Brevard County Sheriff's Department, Canaveral Fire Department, to ensure that our city was always a safe place where our residents can relax, raise a family, and retire. We officially opened the city's new 24,000 square foot community center at Canaveral City Park, which incorporates our first municipal solar rooftop array. Between activation in June through December 2022, the system produced over 39 megawatt hours of electricity and helped avoid over 31 tons of CO2 from municipal operations, which is the equivalent of planting 476 trees. I am proud of what we've accomplished. I am proud of what we've overcome. And I am proud of you, the residents who have helped us in so many ways. Throughout the year, your voice was heard, your input was gathered to help direct our focus and guide our course. As we remain proactive to today's challenges, we will continue to pursue tomorrow's forward-thinking, future-ready projects, initiatives, and policies that will allow the City of Cape Canaveral to lead by example and become a model coastal municipality.